hello everybody welcome to my channel hope you are enjoying the coding and today is a very famous problem on tree which is a binary tree level order traversal part 2 so in this problem it is given as a binary tree and we have to print the level order traversal but not from the root to bottom but we have to print from the leaf nodes then followed up till the root nodes level and the nodes should be in order from left to right so here in this tree we have to print first 1577 then 920 then 3 so these are the three levels we return we have to return in a list of lists so let's first understand how we will solve the uh, let's say this is my node which is 3 uh, 3 the given tree and then we have uh, here 920 so 9 and here is a 20 and then we have left child of 20 is 15 and here we have 7. So how we will do the basic binary like level order traversal of the tree. So we have to go first level this is a level 1 let me mark like L1 and this is our another level which is let us say call it L2 and this is another level which is L3. So we have to if for the simple level order traversal we can return like list of 1 like L1 then L2 then L3 as a list of lists. So L1, L2, L3 is also a list so it is this is a list. Now in this problem we have to do a twist. So we have to return in this format like L3 first and then L2 and the L1. So one way of solving this problem just we will do the binary level order traversal and then use the collection dot reverse method and reverse this. So this is using collections dot reverse method from the library classes of the risk. So first how we will get the level order. Traversal. So for level order traversal we will you make use of a data structure which is very famous like Q we will go Q data structure here for the root. So what we will do we will first add the root node here root node here so which is 3 so let me take here instead of root I will take the data so we will take the 3 then we will fetch out this 3 and take a one size variable like current size so this size variable will give us a uh, ident to create the labels so we will take the size so first initially once we start the process the size will be 1 so we will process the node 3 so first 3 will come here and we will add the 3 in the one of the new array list we will create a label 1 and we will add once we process this we will add the into the let us we will take another list of list which is called result here so we will add the l1 in that so every iteration then we will check that does this node current node has the left child yes if it is yes then we will add left. so in our tree it has 9 here we will add the 9 we remove this and we will check again now for right child does it has right child yes it has so we will add the 20 in the queue now we will again calculate the size of this current queue in the next iteration so it will be 2 so now we will process 9 and 20 and add into 9 and 20 in our l2 so L2 will have 9 first and then 20 and then for 9 we will check does this has left child no then we will not do anything if does this have right child no we will not add in now for 20 20 yes it has left child 15 this all went out now we will add 15 and 7 in Q so this way we will generate the level order traversal so the first approach for achieving the result of this problem we just use the reverse after the processing level order traversal using the collection dot reverse. So let us implement first the basic level order traversal and using the collections we will solve this problem. So first we need a list of list of integer which will be uh, let us say called it result and we will initialize it and we need a queue to store our nodes so which is tree node we will call it as queue and it is initialized with the implementation of linked list and here we will add first uh, add the root node in the queue then we will process this while the queue is not empty while queue is not empty we will process and then we need a 
size variable here int size which is the size of the current uh, queue. So, we will take that and then we will create a list of which is an integer we have to uh, get the for every level by level. So, let me call it level itself and initialize it from the array list and here this will be now we will use another loop and run until the size is there we will process the nodes of the which like all the nodes on the current level. So, here we will get the node first in the root variable itself let us say. So, this is from the queue we will fetch poll the node q dot poll. Once we got this we will add the this into our label variable label add the root dot bal. So, we have to take the value only and then we will check here if root dot left is not null in that case we will add the root dot left in our queue. Similarly, we will do check for root dot right if not equal to null and add this also in the queue. So, this is what basic level order done. Once we process the current level and the first level we will append add into the list. So, which is level. So, this is the simple binary level order traversal. Now, for this problem we will use the collections dot reverse reverse our result. So, this will reverse all the levels and in the end we will return result. So, this is the basic implementation. So, let us try to compile our code. Oh, there is error expected here. Oh, okay, I need missed one angle bracket for closing this. Any other error? No. Let us compile again. So, it is compiling and it is judging now and we are getting the correct answer. So, let us submit our solution. Uh, oh, there is also we need to careful the problem we need to check the empty check if there is no node in the root. So, we will do if root is equal to null we just return new array list. Okay. So, this should let us test the this test case here empty one. So, it is judging with the empty test case we are testing now. So, so whenever you do this problem like always in, in the case of tree problem always try to add the root null check condition which is like safer to avoid the wrong submission. So, this is accepted. So, let us talk about the time complexity of this problem. So, time complexity like here if you see we are processing all the node which is O of n let us say we have n node and this collection dot reverse will take O of h time uh, which is parallel sequential to the O of n. So, the overall time complexity. So, this is O of h this will take O of h where h is a number of levels number of levels. So, this is what so overall time complexity is still O of n where we n is a number of nodes. So, this is a one approach another approach we can do. So, just we need to reverse the levels. So, what we can do? So, we can get L 1 L 2 L 3 here. So, what we can do instead of like in this code here itself we will append using the this method. So, result dot add using the add the every time on the index 0. So, this will automatically append the next level. So, here so we have this tree let us say. So, these are the levels. So, we first we will get the first level we will add into the list here like this. So, this is like level 1 added here then we will get the second level. So, for second level we will append this push this to the right and then add. So, this will be L 2 L 1 which is we needed then similarly for L 3 we will do L 3, but this operation is bit costly because appending into the list is a O of H every time we are doing for every iteration of level in our tree. So, this solution will be costly. So, there is another third solution as you already know 
like we have to reverse the order so we can use a stack here and add the labels when we are processing first in the stack like l1 l2 and then l3 and then create the result from the stack pop the L, l3 add into the list then l2 then l1 so this is another approach but this needs the extra space so the best approach which is we implemented using a collection dot reverse so this is the solution thank you if you like my solution please hit the like button and if you have any questions ask in the comment sections and subscribe to my channel